This is the tutorial video for the basketball drills in the VEX VR. So the first thing I'm going to do is name uh, my file, uh, basketball drills. And again, this is level one that we're going to, uh, we're going to open up our playground again, and we're going to choose that grid map like we did in the previous video. So if we look at the level one, we're going to drive the robot forward one grid space. Next, the VR robot to, robot to drive reverse to the beginning point. Continue this pattern for two grid squares, then four grid squares. So what I'm going to show in this one is there's a little bit more going on. So I'm going to bring in some comments. And we're going to kind of organize our program. So we know in the first one that we're going to drive forward and back one grid square. So one grid. So I'm going to drag in another comment and I know the second one of this and I'm just going to copy what I've done there and I'm going to paste it into this comment. I know that I'm going to do it two grid squares. And again, I can just duplicate this comment down. And the last one, we're going to go for. So this is what we would call pseudo code. It's kind of like kind of code that helps me lay out what I want to occur. Now, I'm going to come back to my blocks. And I know that the first thing is do is drive forward that one square. So I'm going to place that underneath that comment. Now, one square is 200 uh, millimeters, so I'm set there. I'm going to, no, I can't duplicate because I have those other blocks attached to that. So I'm going to drag in another one. So in this one, I'm going to drive forward, uh, but I'm going to change that forward to reverse. So what I'm doing there is I'm traveling those two grid squares. I'm going to come back in underneath my comment here. And again, I'm going to go forward, but this time I want to go 400 millimeters, which is two grid squares. And then I would do the opposite of that and reverse it 400 millimeters. I'm going to grab in my last one, I want to go four grid squares. Again, if I multiply that by uh, the 200, that is going to be 800 millimeters forward. And again, I'm going to change that to. Uh, reverse and 800 millimeters in reverse. So then I can come to my playground to watch my program play out. And again, I can hit play on that and I can watch my program. Now, as that finishes up, I'm going to stop that here, and we're going to look at the second program in this. So we're going to program the VR ro robot to drive forward one grid square, stop, and return back. Uh, and you're going to do it without using the reverse block. The robot will need to turn around to drive back to the first position, continue this pattern. So it's that same existing program that we've written. But instead of a reverse command, we now have to uh, turn the robot, which is very similar to our previous program. 